All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're driving down the road. Got a lot of things on my mind. I haven't done a video since, I think, Monday or Tuesday. It's been a while since I've taken that long of a break between doing videos. And, and one of the reasons why is I am pretty passionate about what's actually happening in our country right now. And if I had to make a list, it'd be a mile long of the things that are absolutely disgusting. The guy in the White House right now says America is back. I'm just wondering, what are we back at? We're back to paying for the, the world's problems. I mean, you and I are paying for that. We're back to uh, hopefully not having an ISIS issue, uh, appeasing the rest of the world. <laughs> I guess that's what we're back to. It's amazing. Uh, but what's going on in politics is, is driving me absolutely nuts. Uh, you've got Nancy Pelosi, who I think it, it has zero care about you or me or anyone else. All she cares about is power. And the immediate concern for the Democrats is to try to destroy the Republican Party. Now, he, he, you may say that, you know, both parties are equally bad. Hey, whatever. But the problem that I have is that they're wasting no time in trying to destroy the Republicans as best they can. They want to take Donald Trump and impeach him for what reasons? This this whole thing about we're going to heal the country. Now, what they're doing is they're going to heal for their part. Then you've got these commissions. We've got a they're going to put a commission on reforming the Supreme Court. I didn't know the Supreme Court needed to be reformed. Hey, because we don't like what's going on right now, we have the ability or the power, we can go ahead and stack the courts. We can get rid of the filibuster. These things are absolutely terrifying to me because they have no restraint. Knowing it is telling them no. And that is that is absolutely terrifying. And they're going to do what they want. They got a 50-50 split in the Senate. And Kamala Harris just the other day, well, they went ahead, sent it, and they approved this new stimulus package. $1.9 trillion of debt that you and I will put forth. Now, I'm all about helping our fellow man. I, You know, hey, but the problem is, is that the stimulus bill that they put out, 65 or 70% of that whole thing has nothing to do with COVID. It's to pay off the debt that these local municipalities like New York City, uh, the high tax regions, they, they're, we're paying off their debt. The country is bailing out these high tax areas, Democrat run areas. I have an issue with that. We will be saddled up with this debt forever. Our children will be saddled up with this debt forever. A $15 minimum wage. Let me ask you a question. Put in the comment section down below what you think the effect of a $15 minimum wage. Even Bernie Sanders says that you can't put something like this into effect immediately. I mean, hey, if you have an organization or company and you're doing well, you're doing well because, one, your efforts as the owner, you're kicking ass and taking names. Secondly, you've got people who are doing a great job. Pay them accordingly. Now, if you've got somebody out there with crayons putting paper together and that's all they're good for, okay, fine. But to force companies, one, to make a $15 an hour wage, what's going to happen then? Well, they're going to lay people off. What's next? We're going to force people to hire? Next thing you know, you've got a commission on what is right and what is wrong in, in the news that we receive. So our First Amendment, we're going to have a commission on what is uh, allowed to say in our First Amendment. Guys, think about what I'm saying to you. Uh, we're getting ready to go into a full onslaught, not just socialism, but communism. When they start picking and choosing what you can or are allowed or not to hear, that is communism. Now, here's the final thing that I'm going to leave you with. This here, Here's the scary part. $438 million I heard this morning. That is what it is costing our taxpayers to keep the National Guard in D.C. until March. Or at least I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong.
Why do you suppose they are keeping the National Guard in D.C.? Is it because they fear an insurrection? I'll tell you one reason why it is. It's because this jackass has signed 47 executive orders in two weeks. No other president in history has ever done that. And I believe they fear that these executive orders are so far left, so far gone, so far off center to that people will rise. And that's why I've been quiet. Because what they'll do now is they've got a commission to determine whether you are a domestic terrorist. What's next, guys? A commission on whether or not you get to keep your own property? Well, they've determined that uh, you're a domestic terrorist and you're not deserving of the property that you work so hard on. Uh, this is the shit. And then I just got off the phone my good friend Pops Quest. And we're talking about the ammo shortage. Uh, I understand. We've, we signed, there, there were a, a, a 20 million NICS checks in January, something like that, historical amounts. And but there's no ammo to be found. And he's and the and the company is like, no, we're not, it's not a it's not a uh, you know uh, what do you call it uh, whatever where they make up some kind of story. Well, where's the ammo, guys? Where's the primers? Where is this stuff? This is the shit that's scaring the hell out of me right now. Is that we've got a government is who's censoring what we can and cannot say. They also have these commissions on destroying the, our way of life that we've known it for several hundred years. This is scary. And they're scared enough to keep the National Guard on station in D.C. Now, the National Guardsmen, I don't think, will do a damn thing. Uh, because I, I, I've said this before. I don't think anybody will fire on their own citizens. But that one jackass did. So anyway, with that being said, guys... This is why I've got a lot on my mind. However, I got a cool things, a couple cool things going on. Uh, we got a couple more rifle builds that we're going to be doing. Hopefully, the snow will melt. I got 18 inches of snow out of my range, so we're not doing any long range shooting this anytime soon. Uh, Airborne Arms sending out some stuff. We're going to go ahead and incorporate that on the new 6.5 Creedmoor build, in addition to uh, what we've already done. Uh, that's it. And we're going to be talking politics. And I've got the annealer uh, that I've got to get a video out on. And a bunch of other stuff. And I will tell you this, man. One of the best-looking bipods that I have seen in a while that can, I think, give Atlas a run for their money. I've got it. So that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Where are we going as a country? We've got uh, an executive order that allows uh, boys to compete against girls because they feel like a girl that day. Uh, there has to be a, I, I tell you what, a, a common sense of reality is shit like that. We're losing our morality, our ethics in this country. And that's why I'm pissed. Y'all be good. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform who support our constitution. It was written by our founding fathers 24 seven for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Ay, ay, ay. I'll be good. I'm out of here.